Hey there, you're gonna have to forgive my voice, I'm pretty unwell, but uh, this is a fairly quick video, so I'm gonna record it sooner rather than later. So Matt Aldrich in the Squarespace customization resource group wanted to know how to get these arrows um, above your carousel list sections on 7.1. Uh, I'm probably actually going to very quickly refer to a, uh, I'm sorry, reference the CSS I've got going on on another site, but let's get into it. So I think I've got a, oh, I've already got a carousel list section here on a test site. I'm just going to duplicate it. So bear with us for a second. I think this is actually a reel. Oh, this is a slideshow reel. I apologize. Okay, this looks like it's a list section carousel. So let's clone. It's on banner slideshow. So let's do it as a carousel. Let's just quickly, yep, we've got four items. That's enough. Go on the show a button in there. And let's just, how did he have his? So that looks like that's an infinite scroll and they are on the cards. So let's put the style as card. Um, let's do four columns, infinite scroll, show adjacent slides. Does that look close enough? Yeah, close enough. Um, okay, cool. Let's lastly, just to make it a bit easier, pop those as square. Um, throw in the body just because Matt, I saw you had some in there and align the text to the left. I think we're pretty happy here. The one final change I'm going to do is I'm going to set the arrows to the bottom. And this is basically, yeah, all you really need. So set your carousel section up however you want it. Make sure that the arrows are the at the bottom. I am going to do one last thing because those uneven buttons were really annoying me. And we're good to go. Um, actually, I'm going to be <laughs> really annoying. And just for my own sake, I'm going to give this a different background color. Because, yes, I had a feeling I had some funky CSS or something from somewhere else. So that was what I wanted to check. Uh, space between elements, small. Space between sides, let's put small. And I don't know, I'll probably edgy. I will probably round out those cards for my own choices. Anyways, right, here we go. Okay, um, so the arrows, basically, it's, um, yeah. this container here <clears throat> is a, um, sorry, is, so there you go, use item in this carousel, uh, where is it, slideshow holder, or is it slideshow, it's the gutter, there we go, and then below it, we have the arrows. And these ones here are the desktop arrows. There are mobile arrows. We'll get onto that in a, section, in a second. The se um, above that is this, which is the container. So first things first is we are going to get the user item for this container. Pop that in here. And we're also going to remember actually to get the section ID because I only want to do this for this section. It's not site wide. So, Section ID, open your curly brackets, and we're going to first target the user item for this container. We're going to do display flex. Now that's obviously messed everything up, but not to worry because we're going to fix it. Uh, the next thing we're going to do is we are going to, uh, what, sorry, we're going to change the, the direction of it. We're going to set it to uh, flex direction column. There we go. Okay, it's still working. We're good. Check it on mobile. Those arrows, I think, are being affected by 
some other random CSS I've got from like one of these other sections here, this one down here, I think. Um, but I can always go and deal with that later. So cool, that's the first part. Now we've got two options. We can either do column reverse, to pop the arrows on top, or if we really wanted, we could do desktop arrows, order zero, and then we could do, let me just grab the name of this element. This is the, uh, the carousel gutter. Uh, one. And that'll swap the order of them. Either of these works. I tend to like my CSS nice and dry and also as minimal as I can, so I'm going to use column reverse. Now, if you have a look here, I don't know if you can see that faint orange um, margin on top, so we want to get rid of that. Um, and so, desktop arrows, it is a <coughs> 30 pixel margin. So I could remove it with CSS. However, watch. So we would end up needing an important because it's set in line. However, we obviously want to avoid as many importants as possible and blah, 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 CSS best practices. So what we can do is instead come into the design, I think it's size and space. Oh, okay, maybe it's style. Uh, arrows, um, here you go, so navigation. And we can change the space above navigation to zero. That is the way I would suggest doing it because it minimizes the amount of CSS you're doing. Um, minimizes the amount of importance, which means if you then decided to override it with another bit of CSS, blah, 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 it would just be less grief. Um, I'm actually going to stick these on the right hand side just because I feel like having a nice slight bit of variety in the design. Um, now, one other thing to bear in mind is if I had a title up here, by getting rid of that um, spacing, they obviously wouldn't be padding between these arrows and the title. So that's another reason why you'd want to do it on, in the on-page styling. Um, so now we're going to put a margin bottom in instead, and we're going to do 30 pixels. And yeah, that seems like enough spacing. Everything's working well. <coughs> Please forgive me for my coughing. Um, I'm just going to, because I think it looks nighter, so 30 pixels, just so it's the same. There you go. Actually, that's too much. <laughs> Let's do 15. Yeah, that looks nice. Um, yeah, now for mobile, hmm, arrows are still at the bottom. So if we inspect again, da -da -da -da, and you'll see this element here, mobile arrows. Now, the mobile arrows are a bit of a trickier one. So let's just show this. So here we have two elements. We have, uh, sorry, on desktop first, we'll show you. We have two elements. We have the desktop arrows and we have the gutter. Those two are siblings. However, on mobile, these arrows here they're unaffected by our column reverse, and that's because they're a child within the user list items carousel. So what we do, let's put some annotations in as well. So first, um, desktop arrows top, desktop arrows spacing. This is totally separate, so um, I won't actually annotate that. Now we need mobile arrows. Uh, so to do this, first we're going to we're going to target this class here. That's 
the, um, the carousel gutter. So that's the carousel itself plus the mobile arrows. And then again, we can just use display flex. That's going to mess everything up. There you go, just letting you see it. And then flex direction column reverse. Boom. And again, we're going to run into the same issue here. So you can see my mobile arrows. They have a 20 pixel margin top and nothing below. So we just repeat. And the great thing is that these newer um, Squarespace blocks and sections have much nicer nomenclature, like much nicer class names. Uh, let's change that from 30 pixels to 20 pixels. So it matches whatever the default was. Um, what else? I think I have some funky styling going on that's just left behind from, um, yeah, it's from some random other CSS I had for this. So we're going to pretend that that's not there and it's looking how it should. And in fact, I think if I just delete the rest of my, yeah, if I delete the rest of my custom CSS, you see it fixes it. So you won't run into that issue. Um, but there you go. They work fine. The drag still works. Um, you got your cards, however you want to look at them. Desktop, our drag still works. They're nice and responsive. And if you wanted to do anything else cool, I think I have some stuff about list section arrows in my other videos. So I think there was another request for it. Um, but yeah, there you go. Target it by section, unless you want the site right wide. The list item container needs to be flex for desktop. And then the desktop arrows change the margin. And then for mobile, um, you'd want to have the user, the, sorry, the list carousels gutter to be in column reverse. And then the mobile arrows um, need their margin change. There you go. It works just as you would expect. And I'll put the text in the description, uh, the, the CSS in the description. Thanks. And hey, if it helps, let me know. If you've got any questions, let me know. Ciao.